Now to a Target 12 investigators exclusive. It was a frightening accident. Superior Court Judge Richard Leach struck by a Jeep while crossing a Providence Street in February. After multiple surgeries and months of rehab and recovery, Leach recently returned to the bench. And he sat down with Target 12 investigator Tim White about his road to recovery and what he endured. A former lieutenant governor and longtime fixture in Rhode Island politics, Superior Court Judge Richard Leach is very familiar with Smith Hill, but in February, he nearly lost his life there. All rise. Months after a devastating accident, Superior Court Judge Richard Leach. I deny the motion based on 12B1. Is once again hearing cases. How are you feeling? I'm doing a lot better. I'm really a lucky guy. I'm lucky to be alive. And um, I fought hard, had the help of a lot of people to get better, and I'm not 100% yet. On February 15th, Leach was crossing near the State House, headed to the Providence train station when he was struck by a Jeep Wrangler traveling down Smith Street. And the police report says that she didn't break, and I got thrown 35 feet. 35 feet? Yes. What do you remember from that night? Fortunately or unfortunately, and most people tell me fortunately, I don't remember anything. Really? I don't. I, d I remember waking up in the hospital two days later after I'd had emergency surgery on my leg. In all, Leach underwent three surgeries to repair a shattered femur, fuse six vertebrae, and stop a brain bleed. That's the scariest thing. He says he's seen news coverage of the accident, including the stark image of his shoes lying in the middle of Smith Street. When you look at that photo or see the video on, on the news, what, what goes through your mind? I don't know how I survived. That's what goes through my mind. Yeah. And uh, I did, and I did because of the help of so many people, particularly my wife. His wife, Roanne, was in Boston that night. She raced to Rhode Island Hospital, but had no idea if her husband was still alive. And she tried to reach the hospital, and they wouldn't tell her anything because you can say you're next of kin, but they don't know that over the phone. And so uh, until she saw me, uh, she didn't know how I was doing. That must have been hell for uh, her. Yeah, that was real hell for her. Leach spent the next month in and out of hospitals and a rehabilitation facility. And I'm not sure they can decide anything that's in this complaint. But After a grueling recovery on August 15th, exactly six months to the day of the accident, Leach was back on the bench. Thank you very much. Can I see counsel in chambers? Leach says the outpouring of support he received kept him going. Attitude uh, matters, and I had the right attitude because people were rooting for me, and I felt not only did I owe it to myself, but I owed it to them to do everything I could to get better. So I'm so grateful to those people out there, some, many of whom I know, uh, but some, actually many that I didn't know. Did that Still surprise don't. you? Yes, it surprised me. And, and it sounds like it helped? Oh yeah, it helped tremendously. That support included hundreds of letters and cards, one of which he found especially moving. It's a nice card with a prayer, but then there's this note. Could you read it? Yes. Coming up at six, the story of that note and how his experience on the bench helped him make a critical medical decision. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News. New details now in a Target 12 investigators exclusive. Six months to the day after being struck by a car while crossing a Providence Street, Judge Richard Leach is back on the bench. New at six, Leach shares his, with us the unexpected support he received and how his experience on the bench helped him make a critical medical decision. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us now with his story. Superior Court Judge Richard Leach was back in court full time on August 15th, a journey that included three surgeries, months of rehab and an outpouring of support, including from many he never met. What was the last thing you remember? I remember getting out of my car and starting to walk. I was walking to the train station. On February 15th, Judge Richard Leach was crossing Smith Street near the State House. As a former lieutenant governor, it's a road he has crossed hundreds of times, but that night, a Jeep Wrangler struck Leach, throwing him 35 feet. Do you harbor any ill will? No, there's no, no point. You're not angry? No, I'm upset that it happened, 
But it happened. I, there's nothing I can do about it. So I had a choice. I could be depressed about it or upset about it, or you can get better. And I said, I might as well get better because a lot of people were rooting for me, and that made a difference. Kind of a prickly question. Were you in a crosswalk when you were? To be honest, no. The police report shows there was no evidence that the driver hit their brakes before striking Leach. The driver who stayed on the scene was not cited. Leach says he has not been back to the scene since. There was a little bit of trepidation in my mind of going back to the scene and having doing it again. I will tell you, I am extraordinarily careful now crossing the street. Leach suffered a shattered femur, had six vertebrae fused, and had a brain bleed. Before the accident, Leach presided over an opioid lawsuit and how addicting the narcotic can be. It was that experience that pushed him to refuse to take opioid-based painkillers when he got home from the hospital. But I endured the pain. But I could see how somebody, um, not knowing as much as I guess I did about what could happen, uh, could easily reach for that bottle and sure. take it innocently and then become addicted. And I wasn't going to let that happen to me. He credits his wife and kids with helping him through the ordeal and in no small part, these. This is a bag. I don't know if you can see it. Those are all cards and letters. Hundreds of them. One card in particular moved him deeply. It's a nice card with a prayer, but then there's this note. Could you read it? Yes. I'm really sorry to learn of your accident. Just a handwritten note from someone he barely knew. Sincerely, your favorite CVS cashier, Middletown, Rhode Island, Melanie. P.S. I googled your address. Hope it's correct. We'd always exchange pleasantries and things like that, but to think that she even knew who I was and that she took the time to do this, those are the things that made it possible for me to get better. Leach tells me this experience has reinforced with him the importance of top quality health care like he received in Rhode Island and Boston, as well as access to health insurance. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.